This is the Lockpicking Lawyer. We are only two videos into our series on 40 millimeter aluminum padlocks, and I already feel the need to supplement and clarify our grading scale. The first issue has to do with security key pins. If we look in the tray here, in slots one through eight, we have cuts one through eight from a standard American lock pinning kit. As you can see, pins three through eight all have serrations and pins one and two do not. That's because one and two are so small that there's no chance for a serration to come into play. So in our current grading system, they would not be given a point for being a security pin, whereas cuts three through eight would be given a point. Unfortunately, what that does is penalize locks for their bidding, and I don't think that's right. So what I'm going to do is in locks that have little unserrated pins among larger serrated pins, I am going to give the smaller one points for being security pins because were the bidding different, they would be security pins, and I don't want to penalize locks for their bidding. The next issue has to do with anti-drill pins. I currently don't have anything in the system that rewards anti-drill pins, and I want to change that. So, any anti-drill pin will get one point. So, we see in slot one, this is a standard steel anti-drill anti driver. That would get one point. Where a anti-drill pin is also a security pin, I am going to double those points up. It'll get one point for being an anti-drill pin and one point for being a security pin. So we see in slot two, we have this steel anti-drill serrated key pin. That would get two points for whatever lock it's in. Next, in slot three, you can see we have an anti-bump pin. I wanted to clarify that I would be giving a point for that as a security pin because it is. <laughs> now in slots four, five, and six, we have a spool, a serrated pin, and a serrated spool. There's really no question those are security pins and we will be giving them points accordingly. However, in slot seven, you see this pin with this one really light serration on it. It's ambiguous whether it's a security pin, the question then becomes, do we count it as such? And the answer will be yes. If there's any appreciable effort to change a pin into a security pin, no matter how bad that effort is, I am going to be giving it points. Next, some of the locks in this series are susceptible to a bypass, others are not. The bypass is a really, really big security flaw, and I think we should dock it in our system. So if a lock is of a bypassable design and it does not have an anti-bypass feature, such as this anti-bypass plate you see right here, I am going to be docking two points from the lock's total. The final issue I wanted to talk about has to do with countermilled cores. Some of the locks in this series do have countermilled cores. They're a nice little anti-pick feature and I want to reward it in the grading scale. So, as you can see, this lock right here is a five pin lock. Every single pin chamber is countermilled. For any core that has countermilling, I am going to be giving it two additional points. So, the question now becomes, do I need to make any changes in the last two videos gradings because of these clarifications? And the answer is no. The master locks each had one ambiguous security pin, one very, very lightly serrated pin in slot five. I already gave them points as a, as a security pin, so there's no need to change anything. Neither of those master locks were of a bypassable design, so no issues there either. On the Chinese generic lock, it is technically of a bypassable design and there was no anti-bypass plate. However, because of its very tight keyway, I was not able to get any of my anti-bypass drivers in there to effectuate a bypass, and I even tried making a special tool to do it, and I couldn't get the bypass done. So I am not going to be giving that points for being bypassable if I can't do it. So those are all of my supplements and clarifications to the rules. If you have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. 
and now we'll just get back to some more picking videos. Thanks for sticking with me for this. Bye-bye.